may look like your average cheer team, but in fact, they are far from that. Stepping away from your mom and dad's cheer basics and diving into a highly competitive and national winning cheer squad. This is OU All Girl Cheerleading. We always start with a warm up. We do jump rope a lot, or I let them kind of do an up and back, more football, you know, stretching as they walk. Mm -hmm kind of a drill is how we start and then uh, we move right into our kind of basic skills or what are basic for us uh, and those are just kind of stunting basics. Occasionally we do uh, some standing tumbling right at the beginning of practice as well and then move into those stunts. From there we move into our harder skills, our what you would say are, are flipping skills and uh, from there then we either move to pyramids or baskets depending on the day. You know, they're the same size almost, spotting each other, and so a lot of times that doesn't involve complete catching and setting down. It involves, like, just putting yourself in between it. And so uh, oftentimes it's not the person who was falling that takes the hit. It's the, it's the person who was catching that takes the hit. So we work a lot to kind of hone that skill because a, a lot of people's reaction is to, to kind of step away, but you want the opposite of that. So um, a lot of times we practice that with our, our more basic skills. I'm Anna, I'm a senior, and I'm a back spot on the cheer team. And I'm Haley, and I'm a senior, and I am a base on the team. It's a lot more intense than people think it is. Uh, you may think that like it's just cheering and waving pom-poms, but it's very much a contact sport, mm -hmm. and there's a high risk for injury. I mean, we had a couple of concussions. We had some broken bones, some torn ligaments. I mean, every day before we came into practice in the morning and in the afternoon, there were about half the team would get taped, and... Like, we take pre-workout, we get pumped up, we definitely, like, listen to music to get our heads in the game. It's not it's not something you can just walk into. We definitely have to prepare our minds and our bodies to get ready for nationals. And it got down to the final two teams, and that's, like, when we actually started to think, like, this could happen, like this could be us. And they said our names and it was just shock, absolute <laughs> disbelief of it. Second place in the nation, the University of Alabama. And your national champions, Boomer Sooner. Cheerleading is like football without pads. From overcoming obstacles and injuries. To having a goal of getting top five at nationals. With hard work, dedication, and a constant positive and encouraging practice environment. This is what led them to the top.